Hi, welcome to Spirit Calling Kids. I'm Michael Wheeler, author of the Spirit Calling Devotionals and the Proud Papa series of children's books. If you like these videos, please hit the thumbs up button and share them with a friend. Now please join us as we sing the Spirit Calling song. God invites everyone to the table to eat. Bring a guest. You provide delicious food for me in the presence of my enemies. You have welcomed me as your guest, blessings overflow. Psalm 23 5 I am hungry. I usually am starving after watching the sheep all night. You may not understand this, but I don't eat breakfast in the mornings when I work overnight, tending our sheep. I am not just getting up. I am eating my last meal of the day. So, I am eating supper. What is your favorite food? I really like tacos. I especially like beef tacos with lots of cheese, hot sauce, and beans. Just talking about tacos makes me hungry. I stopped for a taco at one of the taco food trucks in town yesterday when I got off work. I went up to the window to order my favorite taco, and a friend from school, was there. Well he wasn't really my friend. Actually, I didn't like him very much. After I sat down to eat the taco, I looked at it before I ate it. Did this person do something to my taco before he gave it to me? Suddenly my taco didn't seem as appealing. It was the same taco I always eat, but now I didn't like it so much after the person I didn't like made it for me. Is that weird? How would you feel if someone you didn't like very much came to your house for dinner? My father told me that I shouldn't think that way. First, food is food, no matter who made it. They could do a good job or bad job in preparation, but the food is the same. Secondly, I allowed my bad feelings toward this person to ruin my meal and day. Dad said I should ask myself why God loves this person rather than why I don't like the person. I think Dad is correct, but I didn't think anyone could ruin my taco just because I don't like them. Let's see what Peter is doing. I think he likes tacos. Do you like pizza? Most of my lovely children love pizza. How about macaroni and cheese? Is that one of your favorite dishes? Eating food that you like is always a fun thing to do. When you share your food with someone you like, that is even more fun, isn't it? It is fun to have friends come over to your house for a party and sit down and eat food that you all love. Mm, I can almost taste the ice cream and cake now. Does your favorite food always taste better when you are with friends? One of the best places to eat pizza, ice cream, and cake is at a birthday party. The food even tastes better if it is your birthday. Just imagine, pizza, ice cream, cake, and birthday presents with your name on each of them. How about the kids you don't like as much as your regular friends? Do you think they want the foods you eat? Would it be as much fun to have kids over who aren't your friends? I love it when people who don't get along finally get together to share a meal that they both enjoy. It would take a lot of courage for you to invite someone over for a dinner that you do not know or like very much. But I will sit right beside you and your parents to help make the day go well for you. When you eat with someone you don't like, you may make a new best friend.
Hi kids! Are you ready to continue learning more of David's Psalm, or Psalm 23? I will say a line and then you repeat after me. Here we go! Because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. He lets me rest in the meadow grass, and leads me beside the quiet streams. He gives me new strength. He helps me do what honors him the most. Even when walking through the dark valley of death, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Guarding, guiding all the way. You provide delicious food for me in the presence of my enemies. You have welcomed me as your guest. My blessings overflow. Good job! You are learning a lot. Keep up the great work. Thank you for joining us today. This is Pastor Michael along with our good friend, Bolt. We hope you had fun and learned about God. I pray that you will join us tomorrow so we can continue to grow in faith. Let's join Amelia, Quinn, Addie, and Alice as we close with the Spirit calling blessing. May God bless you.